Hey guys, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness, and today I wanted to share with you a super simple and effective way to manage your cordage. Now, why do we want to manage our cordage? Let's go back to the four rules of survival. You can only survive three minutes without air, three hours without shelter, three days without water, and three weeks without food. Now, if you're caught in extreme weather conditions, and you're trying to get your shelter built, say it's freezing cold, your hands are numb, your mind is stressed, you do not want to deploy your rope to make your shelter and they have gotten completely knotted up. Um, you don't want to be sitting there with poor dexterity trying to loosen up all those knots so you can get something built. Now, that being said, how do you and how do you see others typically coil their rope? Well, they usually do it the easy way. You simply just wrap it around your forearm. Or forearm. This is the wrong way. It's the wrong way because when it comes time to deploy this, all the bites of rope that you're coiling up are going to go through themselves and not up. And you've all been there, whether it's coiling up rope, like this, climbing rope, paracord, electrical cord, your garden hose, same principle applies for all. So what we're going to do is I'm first going to throw this over the deck and show you how knotted it gets. And then I'm going to show you two options and how to effectively manage your cordage and you're not going to end up with the knots that you're going to see with this option. Alright guys, well I had to step inside. Um, the video outside didn't turn out too good, so I'm going to show you with some, some paracord. So this one, I just wrapped around my forearm just like the climbing rope, and if I were to need to deploy this immediately, and I put out the rope, most of it may not get tangled up, but you'll see at some point you get this. You get this all the way through. The bites are going in and out between themselves and you're just left with a knotted mess. And the more you tug and pull, the worse it gets. So let me show you how to avoid this first with the butterfly coil. All right guys, well let me show you how to do the butterfly coil. This is a coil that's used a lot by rock climbers and it's a super simple and effective way to manage your rope. So all you do is just start with both ends and stretch it out double arm's length. Now if you have a really long or big rope, like climbing rope, you may want to do two to three arm's length to get enough lead to tie this up at the end. But since this is paracord, um, one double arm's length is sufficient. But then what you'll do is you'll just make coils the same exact way. So double arm's length, coil it to one side. Double arm's length, coil it to the other side. And what you're left with is one coil on each side of the hand. And all you do is just alternate that back and forth. So there. At the end, you have two coils of rope, one on each side of the hand, and then with that lead that we had, you just wrap that around your coil. And then if you have a little bit of excess, you can tuck that through the middle loop, and then put the end through the loop that we just made. So. There you go. That is the butterfly coil. And I'll show you if I just take this out real quick. Let me deploy this and pull it up and you'll see that absolutely no knots or kinks result. So I'll just drop it. And as I pull up the rope, you'll see that there's not one single coil or kink that results from the whole thing. Great setup. All right guys, well let me show you a second variation on how to correctly coil a rope and it is a twist on the incorrect original way to coil a rope. And there's no pun intended with that. You're literally putting a twist in it. And let me show you what I mean by that. So again, we start with both ends of the rope and you're going to take a section of it and then 
drape it over your hand. Now the incorrect way would be to repeat that, taking a bite of rope and draping it over and just repeating and re repeating and repeating, and you're going to get kinks that way. But what we want to do is alternate a 180 degree twist every time we drape over the hand. So let me show you what that looks like. The first drape over the hand is just going to be like normal. The second drape, the second drape, you make your loop, and instead of just putting it directly over the hand, you're going to twist it. Now let me show you that a couple times because it's a little bit difficult to demonstrate. I'm also going to do it at a different angle. We alternate, so put a regular drape over the hand. The next loop is going to twist and then put it over. Alright, so from a better point of view, here's how you do it. Take the two ends of the rope, place them in your hand, have a stretch of loop, and the first loop will just go over your hand. Lead line is on the outside. Now the second loop, again, make a loop, but instead of just draping it over the hand, we're going to put a twist so the long end of the line is on the inside of the loop. So again, look at that. It's on the outside twisting 180 degrees to the inside and putting that over your hand. Now we alternate. Take another loop, drape it over the hand. Next loop, twist. So it's inside. One more time. Drape it over the hand. Make another loop. And instead of this outside line being on the outside, you want it on the inside, so do a 180 twist and then put your hand through that hole. And you're still ending up with a single loop. So let me finish this up and then we're going to drop it and I'm going to show you that this does not tangle up at all. Alright guys, well here is the loop that we just made and I'm just going to throw this down and show you how this is much less likely to have any type of knots or kinks when you throw it down. So, pulling this up, and you'll see it does not knot up at all. Anytime you do see a kink or knot that forms, it just shakes right on out. So that is just another way to coil your rope. So there you have it, two easy ways to coil your rope. Um, I really personally prefer the butterfly coil because it's super simple, um, there's really nothing to it, and your rope throws easy. Again, this can be used for any type of cord, electrical cord, paracord, climbing rope, you name it, it's going to work. Um, save yourself the headache of having to undo all those knots. Save yourself critical time if you're ever in a survival situation and you need to use your rope. And I hope this tip helps. Thanks for watching On Point Preparedness.